Hi Leos, welcome to Meraki the Tribe. My name is Ayushi and I'm bringing you your uh, June 2018 uh, reading. This, these are not going to be 10 card Celtic cross like I usually do. Uh, these are going to be, uh, it is going to be a different spread like I'll be looking into your past, present and future. Uh, and uh, stop what you should stop doing, what you should start doing, what you should, you should continue doing and what are your strengths, weakness and what is the advice coming uh, in for you. Now this is going to be for uh, Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising uh, or if you have heavy uh, Leo placement in your chart. So let's see what's coming up for Leo for June 2018. What are they, their past, present and future energies? Past, present and future energy for Leo. Sun Moon Rising, June 2018. Your past energy is Eight of Wands. Your present energy is the Wheel of Fortune. Your future energy is the Three of Swords. Your uh, bottom of the deck is the Son of Cups. So uh, Leo, what I'm seeing here is that you were communicating or you were traveling or you were um, like you were either communicating with someone or someone was communicating uh, with you like they were sending you messages and stuff uh, and you were also talking to this person. There is a uh, like there, there has been a communication with uh, from both the ends. Uh, this could be regarding someone uh, who is a water sign, Pisces, even an Aquarius person, Pisces, Scorpio or a Cancer person. This person can be just offering you their cup of love to, to you or you are offering it to them. So there was a lot of talks about that or uh, there was a lot of um, like these are also called Cupid's arrow. So uh, I feel that uh, you felt uh, like you had some uh, connection with this person which was special and it needed needed to be explored so you were talking to this person getting to know this person uh, this person can be living far from you because this is also a card of long distance uh, or uh, it, it's a card of traveling so you could be traveling towards this person uh, both physically or it can be it, it can be emotionally or mentally uh, you had invested a lot of your energy uh, in uh, in focusing uh, over this person or situation that you are dealing with. Now your present energy is Wheel of Fortune. Right now you feel, you may be feeling a little bit stuck or you are feeling that um, there is nothing that you can uh, do or you are just feeling that why aren't things happening uh, faster or you are just feeling that uh, you haven't been so lucky or you just feel that um, uh, nor you or this person can decide what's in fate because the fate is going to decide what's up like what, what needs to happen next so you are just waiting you are just waiting and if you are going to rush this it's not going to uh, go well and uh, you need to have your uh, patience so let the wheel of fortune turn and uh, like right now in a, you are in a space of halt like you are just waiting for things to change for in environment to change or um, for circumstances to change in future i'm seeing that you have the three of swords so there can be a three-party situation in future or you might ha have to go through a heartbreak in future with regards to the situation of this person that you are t uh, thinking about uh, it may not go the way uh, in your favor and uh, you might have to act actually decide to leave the situation altogether. Um, I see here that uh, it can be for some of you related to a child. Um, so yes, I'm also getting that someone is uh, taking their love and moving away. Uh, it, it can be you, it can be this person. There, uh, there was something, that, uh, there will be something that has been tying you uh, and your thoughts. Uh, like your thoughts are revolving around the situation but um, but let me see 
बट यू आर स्पीकिंग योर माइंड यू आर स्पीकिंग योर माइंड लाइक इधर टू ए पर्सन हु हैज बिन ओके सो आई एम गेटिंग योर दैट सम वन इज वेरी लविंग योर एंड द अदर पर्सन इज वेरी वेरी कोल्ड सो टू अपोजिट पीपल लाइक वन पर्सन इज वर्किंग फ्रॉम देयर हार्ट एंड द अदर पर्सन इज कमिंग फ्रॉम देयर ब्रेन लाइक दे आर टैकलिंग द सिचुएशन फ्रॉम द लॉजिकल साइड एंड द अदर पर्सन इज नॉट यूजिंग देयर लॉजिक दे आर बेसिकली अप्रोचिंग दिस हार्ट ब्रेक फ्रॉम ए वेरी सेंसिटिव प्लेस फ्रॉम देयर हार्ट सो the reason may be that uh, you both or one of you is not satisfied with uh, what whatever is being offered and uh, somebody wants uh, that uh, a certain balance in this so in order to uh, restore balance i think uh, that um, a, someone is going to cut somebody out and uh, yes there can be an end of a uh, uh end of a cycle with someone uh that was supposed to cross your path this is a wheel of fortune this is a world card so something will come to an end with this person or this whatever that you were going through right now you are going through an ending basically it could have been a soulmate connection uh feelings were mutual feelings were mutual uh, feelings are mutual in past uh, you were very patient with regards to this connection uh, or this communication and uh, you or both of you were very very enthusiastic and uh, uh, it can be also said that you guys were um, attracted uh, towards each other and you were expressing your um, passions uh, and it was not something mature like it it was not like a commitment uh, but it was moving towards it also mean that uh, some uh, in past you started something very passionately or you started uh, traveling or uh, you were enthusiastic about uh, you were planning about something basically and you were enthusiastic like a child about that and now you uh, can't do much about it because things are going to happen um, uh, according to divine timing and you cannot rush it so what are the what should uh, leo st stop doing and what should they start doing and what should they continue doing for the month of june 2018 leo sun moon rising what should leo stop doing what should they start doing and what should they continue doing for the month of april for month of june 2018 what is coming up for leo sun moon rising what should they stop doing what should they start doing and what should they continue doing for the month of april i'm saying april i think for some of you you need to continue something that happened in the month of april like either you were doing something or you started something in the month of april and you uh, forgot about it so you need to uh, pick it up again and start doing it um, like that is what i'm feeling here so yeah so what you should stop doing is that um you wanted a commitment with someone and i think you need to withdraw uh, you cannot have this commitment with this person and uh, you should stop trying for it you want things to uh, work out and i think what i'm seeing here is that uh, you need to uh, pace yourself you need to uh, withdraw yourself and uh, it's not going to happen guys i'm seeing it like it's not going to happen uh, and because it's not going to happen i feel that is uh, like it's like a victory even though you're not realizing it uh, you don't know uh, why it happened how it happened or where are you headed after uh, whatever has happened i feel even though you don't realize it it has been a victorious like you have been victorious here so let it be don't try to uh, don't try for this uh, union is what i'm getting here now what you should start doing is that you need to start planning uh, ahead you need to start planning for the future you need to start planning for what you can do further uh, in your life what you can achieve more in your life i'm also getting that um, you need to uh, dig your uh, 
subconscious mind some of you in order to uh, decide where you are headed next uh you need to focus on your emotions as well and you need to plant new seeds you need to start planting new seeds and um you need to be calm about uh, whatever you are doing you need you cannot um speak loudly or you cannot uh, talk to other people about it as such like you cannot um you cannot bring this thing that you are going to start uh, into the public view as yet is what i'm feeling you're like like you don't want people uh, to deviate you or distract you is what i'm getting here now what you should continue doing is the ten of swords now this is a very interesting card to get in uh, what you you need to continue doing and uh, what i'm getting here is that because in i kept saying april april i feel that in april some of you went through a betrayal and uh, it has still uh, been continuing and i feel you will stay in this feeling for a long time and even though i'm saying that you need to like i should say that you need to get out of this um entire thing that happened and uh, get over it move on i should say all those things and anybody will suggest to move on and all that but what i'm feeling here is that you need to sit with this feeling like you need to understand why this happened to you why people could uh, you know uh, torture you like this you need to understand why these things happened and who were these people and what were their true intentions and uh, how you did how could you not see this coming uh, because i think there is some lesson for you in this betrayal and uh, Uh, i'm feeling that uh, you are isolating yourself and you are going to look into every scar that has been uh, uh, like you know every scar that has uh, that you have uh, been given so you are analyzing is what i'm seeing even though you are not liking the process you are uh, cringing basically but um, i think you are doing it and i think you are doing it well you are doing it well so congratulations on that uh, and there is a certain truth uh, of your own that you need to hold like um, there is a truth regarding the situation and there is a uh, clarity that has come which you need to uh, you need to grab and you need to keep it with you so look at the card again and then we'll look into uh we'll look into your strength weakness and advice by the way guys i'm getting that Uh, something happened to you uh, five times like you got betrayed five times like on five different occasions something related to five now leo is a uh, zodiac sign which is number 5 now i don't know what else but something related to five maybe it happened on the 5th may or 5th june or you should be wary of the date 5th june like don't do like don't interact or don't invite people who are um not good for you in your life probably they will try to connect back uh, during that time so make a wise decision now justice card is your bottom of the deck by the way so i am getting that whatever has happened has uh, equalized something in your life uh, it has um, it has restored a certain balance in the universe now you might not see it uh nobody can see it but something has been restored in uh, the universe like either you had a karmic debt and you had to go through this uh, trial and tough time uh, you had to learn your lesson so uh, just uh, don't be so harsh on yourself and let go of the situation and forgive this person because uh because it's already done first of all and second of all it's better that uh, we focus on our future instead of uh, being worried and being uh, held by our past yes the judgment here someone will approach you and they would want a second chance uh, now it's up to you to give them that second chance do they deserve it if they deserve it then uh, give it it's it's your decision i can't decide for you give me a moment guys some of you are dealing with a pisces person or someone who is sacrificing something someone who is uh, looking at this situation or you yourself are trying to look at the situation from various perspectives you want to uh, 
you are stepping into the shoe of other people you are trying to understand the situation uh, from various perspectives is what i'm getting you are trying to see the bigger picture it's uncomfortable for you to do that but you are doing it what are the strength and weaknesses and what is the advice for the leo sun moon rising for june 2018 you guys sorry about the train june 2018 leo sun moon rising what are their strength and weaknesses for june 2018 strength weakness and advice leo june 2018 sun moon rising okay let's begin strength weakness and advice oh wow i love this wow some of you are dealing with a cancer person some of you are dealing with a uh, libra aquarius gemini uh sun moon rising or some of you are just dealing with a very sweet person <laughs> because uh, or either this person is sweet or you are meeting uh, you will meet someone who is sweet or you have to be sweet to this person because your advice is two of cups and uh, this person has feelings for you and uh, you have feelings for them so um, you will share some emotion and uh, your ideas you are uh, being asked to this is your advice that uh, be emotional share what you can share this is your person uh, so i'm not saying that this is your person for the rest of your life i'm just saying that uh, uh, this can be your friend you need to uh, you know you need to open up to them and i think i see that there are these people are like really like they are holding each other's hand and they are having tea or coffee whatever you like and they are spending some time together some peaceful time so uh, that is your advice you need to do this you you feel like doing this you need to do it uh, it will it would uh, mean a lot even i feel that you need to hug someone like you need to embrace them and you need to hold them is what i'm feeling here now what your weakness is that uh, you have queen of swords as your weakness so you have um, offered someone a bitter truth you have offered uh, someone something uh, that you believe was truth and you um, you just shut your eyes towards your emotions and just spoke your truth and uh, that is coming up as weakness or someone around you is like this like this person was very harsh they did not uh, they did not consider their emotion intuition or their feminine side they decided to go with their masculine side and uh, that is your weakness leo because that is uh, leo is a masculine sign so obviously you are always fiery and you feel that the best way to uh, uh, react and the best way to solve anything is go fiery <laughs> and uh, it can be uh, it can just get a little bit um, out of hand because uh, you were probably supposed to listen to your emotions because your advice is that you need to open up you need to communicate your feelings you need to uh, share now what i'm getting here as your strength is the chariot card which is cancer card so now this is a major arcana so this is huge like in month of june you you are basically very focused very aligned you are moving into a direction where you feel that this is my path i am going to take this and nobody can stop me and you are like very um, like you're in this uh, in your strength i'm seeing that you are focusing on your intuition your heart because look at this person this is like they have uh, cover over their eyes so the only place they can look is inside and inside uh, they can uh, coordinate or they can align their logical their left brain their right brain and then they can make a choice like a complete wholesome choice they can make a decision to decide which way is good for them and then once they have decided they will move towards it no matter what and they are not going to stop easily because they think that they are following their destiny and there is no stopping them so that is coming up as your strength so do that like align yourself and overall energy you have is the 10 of swords sorry i almost said 10 of swords but because you had 10 of swords already like in the previous spread i feel that uh, something is coming to an end because 10 of sword is the 
10 which is ending completion now this is 10 of wands which is again a completion you are feeling very burdened because of a betrayal or because of the mental uh, exhaustion that you are feeling uh, you have been uh, very courageous with regards to your um, something related to heart your feeling or something you have been very courageous with regards to your feeling uh, yes look look here Something happened during the new moon which was like 5 days ago um, in the May, like I am making this video on 22nd May so uh, I am getting that 5 days ago something has happened and uh, you are just holding your heart in both these pictures there is a Leo and a Pisces card or a Cancer card you can say, both of them are holding their heart, they both don't want to communicate or you communicated something uh, during that time or um, uh it burdened you like uh, it was burdensome you ha you you it required you a lot of courage to either express your emotions um don't be harsh guys i'm getting that like your weakness is that either somebody is going to be bitter to you towards you or you are going to be bitter towards someone uh, like you will lose your patience or something like you are going to just lose it don't do that like communicate it uh, in a friendly manner is what I'm getting okay I drop another card keep your patience with me perseverance your blockage is perseverance so some of you don't want to work for it you just don't want to work for it and uh, you feel that uh, it's not, either you feel that it's not working uh, uh, like it's not worth working or you feel that um, things are not aligned for you so you don't know where to put this energy or how to make an effort or where to uh, make an effort so like you don't want to make an effort that's why because you're not sure how when how much or maybe why should i you are going for all that prayer so some of you don't want to pray you don't want to have faith you don't want to yes as soon as i said faith uh, yes you don't want to believe in the almighty you don't want to believe in higher power you don't want to believe in the universe you don't want to believe in uh, your own power as a person and uh, like you don't acknowledge it you don't recognize it and uh, you need to because it has a lot of potential lot of power to change your life because whatever you think and whatever you speak is is your frequency and the universe listens and aligns to uh, according to your frequency so it aligns things according to your own frequency so uh, yeah so be mindful of that so don't block yourself from that growth and vanity so you are blocking growth you are blocking all that because of vanity like you feel that uh, vanity and growth so your blockage is uh, your heart space like heart chakra your heart chakra is blocked some of you so kindly heal your heart chakra uh, growth is saying that you are blocking growth you are not listening to your intuition is what i am getting and like i said your weakness was that uh, you were making uh, logical decisions you were uh, making all the practical decisions like i don't understand some people feel that um, like it's not like we in this industry who are uh, doing uh, tarot card reading or who are in the spirituality they are not uh, real people or they don't live in reality or they have um, like they don't live in la la land even they pay their bills even they have the same struggle right so even they live a realistic life so uh, if someone is saying that uh, no there is nothing like intuition there is nothing like uh, uh, law of attraction there is nothing like uh, you wanting to manifest something because of uh, just aligning yourself towards a frequency if people believe in all that then they, that's their belief uh, and uh, that they are just choosing that's their choice they are making a choice to not acknowledge that power that they have uh, because they want to blame other people for their uh, um, i'm not uh, giving shade guys but yeah some people just uh, want to blame other people for their 
mess in life and uh, they don't want to take responsibility if you take a responsibility of your life you will realize that you have immense potential and immense power and you can achieve what you want and what you put your mind to just don't have negative uh, you know dialogue within you i'm not saying uh, negativity is bad no everything serves its purpose everything is good everything teaches you something and negativity uh, balances positivity as well so until and unless you go through the dark side of life you cannot see the brightness and you cannot value it basically so yes uh, your heart chakra has blocked some of you and vanity some of you are doing things for just showing off or you are just aligning yourself according to the uh, group or around you you are just following what other people are following you want to uh, achieve the things that other people are achieving you are just um, doing things to please others and you are vanity basically just go and google that term i i can't say for everybody uh, vanity is going to be different thing so what is vanity in your life how do you feel that um what whatever that you are doing is uh, just for the sake of it and just for the show off just for the plain sick temporary pleasure it is also a sort of escape basically you are uh, blinding yourself like you don't want to see the truth you don't want to come out of your uh, foggy um commercialized uh world somehow that is what i'm getting here uh if you are spending too much don't do that please make sure uh, you make a note of things where you are spending why you are spending is it worth it like all those stuff and stink you are blocking your stink like some of you are not trusting your gut stinks uh, you are ignoring it uh, soulmate so some of, some of you have blocked your soulmate because of that and uh, things are not balanced is what i'm getting and some of you are even playing a victim card you some of you are blocking your abundance and some of you are even stopping yourself uh, like self renewal uh, just because you are not accepting something and some of you are just wasting your time you have some dream and desire to uh, look after to, to care, take care of but you are i don't know you are waiting for some right moment uh, before you would get up and start working for it so you are just wasting your time uh, some of you are we uh, wearing a facade like um, drop uh, like you are lying to yourself is what i am getting some of you of course not all of you so that was your reading leo and i will pull one more card what is the advice for leo for the june 2018 advice for leo sun moon rising june 2018 what you want wants you as soon as like like i was saying a law of attraction and um, manifestation what you want wants you what you seek is seeking you so if you believe in it then good guys if you don't believe in it then uh, you will believe in it after 3 years because uh, there is no escaping it it's it's there is no escaping the fact that whatever you are after whatever your energies are focused towards is what you are going to attract uh, inspiration so take inspiration from uh, good things around you some something positive around you uh, start uh, imitating uh, copying is not bad if you want to uh, copy someone who is doing well in their life you can uh, take uh, inspiration from the, them and you can incorporate those attributes or you can inculcate those habits in yourself uh, and then you can add your own original idea or your own uh, if you are innovative and if you are like your authentic authenticity you need to uh, be aware of what you actually want you you personally what you want and then incorporate that so make it your own basically what i'm trying to say so that was your reading leo for the month of june 2018 i hope you enjoyed your reading and i'll see you again